Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are talking about five reasons why I think the Tesla Model X P100D is the best luxury SUV. Now not that long ago I hadn't driven any of the Teslas, then thanks to Omaze I got to try out the Tesla Model S P100D, then I ended up buying a Tesla Model 3 Performance, and now today thanks to Omaze once again for sponsoring this video, I am inside of the one that I have not driven, the Model X P100D. Now I'll get more into the Omaze campaign later on in the video, but know that they are giving away a Model X P100D. There's a link in the video description, omaze.com slash win a Tesla, if you'd like to check that out. Now, before we get started, we need to be able to put ourselves in the shoes of a luxury car buyer. So if you're a car enthusiast, you like rear wheel drive, manual transmission, uh, you know, coupes, that's wonderful. Uh, they are great cars and I'm with you. However, we need to put ourselves in the buyer of a luxury SUV if we're going to talk about what is the best luxury SUV. And I think there's a distinction between a subjectively good uh, luxury SUV and an objectively good luxury SUV. Subjective being if you're sitting in the back seat and you want great materials, real nice feeling, something that emotionally makes you calm, relaxed, happy, all those things, and you're sitting in the back seat, perhaps a Mercedes S-Class or, you know, a Rolls Royce is the way to go. But if you are sitting in the driver's seat and you want a luxury SUV, this Tesla Model X objectively has so many qualities about about it that make it a nice luxury vehicle. So starting with number one, the electric motors. And of course, we're gonna start with the obvious one, electric motors. This thing has two motors, one in the front, one in the back, all wheel drive, and that is able to accelerate this vehicle. Uh, Tesla just released a new update from 2.9 seconds down to 2.8 seconds, zero to 60 time in a 5,500 pound SUV. Absolutely absurd when you put your foot down how much torque this thing can put down. Down. <laughs> So why are electric motors luxurious? And so first let's talk about internal combustion engines. With luxury vehicles, the engineers are trying to get that engine uh, to be very quiet, very smooth. They want effortless acceleration. They don't want it to, to require anything on the driver's part. So you want a quiet interior, vibration free with effortless acceleration. And so with an internal combustion engine, that's challenging because internal combustion engines are loud, they vibrate, and so it requires a lot of engineering in order to make them quiet and smooth. Versus is electric motors which are really well balanced so it's rotational mass rather than reciprocating mass like in an engine they're very quiet uh, and there's no shifting there's no transmission in this vehicle it's a single speed and so you don't have uh, you know that roughness of a transmission now I don't think today's transmissions are all that rough but from a luxury standpoint what you're trying to do is take out all of that feeling of the transmission remove all of it and you do that with an electric car because there is no shifting gear so acceleration is always perfectly smooth uh, it's quiet and because it's electric you get instant torque uh, the second you put your foot down you don't wait for shifting or turbo lag or any of those things you get all of it immediately it's one of the really beautiful things about driving an electric car is that what you're doing with your right foot however far it is on that accelerator pedal is exactly what you get in torque and that is a really special thing and it is quite luxurious now before we get into the other four qualities I want to talk about this Omaze campaign they are giving away a Tesla Model X P100D. So if you make a small donation, you are entered to win and you have a chance of winning not only a Tesla Model X P100D, but they are including taxes, they are including shipping, and they are including $20,000 cash. And all donations are going to help support Girls Who Code, uh, which is an awesome organization. It's uh, developed to help young female students uh, improve their skills in coding, learn about coding, and prepare them for futures within the world of tech. So a cool organization. Uh, I personally have no idea how to code. I did take a uh, Fortran class when I was in college, but Fortran uh, is as irrelevant as me telling you that I learned Fortran. Uh, my wife actually does a bit of coding. Anyways, there is a link in the video description, omaze.com slash win a Tesla on a small donation for a good cause, and you have a chance of winning Tesla Model X P100D and $20,000 cash. Number two, why this is a wonderful luxury vehicle and very fitting that there's a large heavy vehicle in front of us is weight. And usually I would say weight is a terrible thing because for acceleration, uh, for braking, for cornering, you don't want weight. And yet somehow this 5,500 pound vehicle is able to accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. But the benefit of weight, and there's one benefit, and I think it works in the world of luxury cars, and that is ride 
added comfort because there are certain qualities about having a very heavy vehicle uh, that enable it to have a very good ride quality. And you certainly notice that in this very heavy Tesla Model X. Now, why is that? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but for example, one example is the fact that you have a very high sprung to unsprung weight ratio, meaning the car itself is very heavy, the unsprung mass, while heavy, in comparison to how much sprung mass there is, the vehicle itself versus thinking uh, the unsprung mass being those wheels and tires and some of the suspension, because that ratio is so off, uh, any little impact on that wheel plays less of a role than if the car were lighter. So think about if you had a 2,000 pound car and a 100 pound wheel. So that wheel hitting a bump and then sending that 100 pound force up is going to have a much greater effect on that lightweight car than it will on this very heavy car. Uh, the ratio of that weight is so much closer uh, than it is with this vehicle. And so you notice all the little bumps more with lighter vehicles because that unsprung mass uh, has a greater effect on the sprung mass itself. Additionally, you're able to tune the suspension differently with a very heavy vehicle as a result of what your payload is going to be. And so if you think about, you know, five people inside of a 3,000 pound car, that's a significant increase in the payload on that vehicle percentage wise. If you add five people to this 5,500 pound Tesla, it's not as big of an impact payload wise. And so your suspension tuning, you of course want to be able to accommodate the entire range of weight that a car will see. And that range is relative more narrow on a heavy car and so it enables you to dial in that suspension to a much more specific range rather than saying okay we also have to accommodate when the car is fully loaded and in that case with a lightweight car it's probably going to be a bit under damped versus when there's just one person in it uh, in which case it'll probably be a bit over damped a little stiff and so you have that range that you have to accommodate for and with a heavier vehicle you can tune it for a more narrow range and you're also able to have a slightly lower CG from the beginning because you don't have to worry about what is this payload, how much is this payload going to compress down the vehicle. It'll compress it down less in a vehicle that weighs more than a vehicle that weighs less. Now number three, also fitting that I am behind this truck here spewing out these exhaust fumes uh, and I'm also in the city of Los Angeles, a little bit outside of it, so some nice beautiful scenic roads here, but number three being that it has a HEPA air filtration system. And so Tesla claims uh, the air inside of this vehicle is the cleanest air inside of any car. And clean air, of course, is a luxury, especially if you're in a city like Los Angeles. It also has what they call a bioweapon defense mode. And so it uses that filtration system, pulls in air, and creates a positive pressure on the vehicle itself. So you don't have random air seeping in uh, from the different sides, from different panels and all that. Instead, you are slowly leaking out positive pressure air and you're taking in air through that filtration system. And so that enables you to prevent whatever's on the outside uh, to just seep into the car without going through that filtration system by keeping that positive pressure within the cabin. Now, number four is safety, and Tesla claims this is the safest SUV sold. Uh, so it has five-star crash test rating, very low probability of rolling over thanks to having the battery uh, beneath the car, so an extremely low center of gravity, and as a result, this greatly decreases the probability that the vehicle would roll over. And so, you know, what greater luxury than being safe than to decrease the probability of getting injured simply by paying more money. Uh, so certainly a luxury feature. Pay to reduce the likelihood that you get injured in the event that you are in a collision. And you know, many aspects of car safety can be built in uh, to, you know, a low cost vehicle. Uh, obviously all manufacturers try their best to do it, uh, but if you have more flexibility and money and, you know, creating that overall structure uh, just based on how much the, you can charge the customer ultimately, then you can put in things to make that car extremely safe. And this is a great example of that. Having that a very expensive, very large battery uh, actually can help with side impacts, uh, you know, front impacts. It's uh, part of the structure overall. And so while it is extremely pricey to have a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, it can help the safety quite a bit. And of course, as I mentioned, helps to keep that center of gravity low. Now, speaking of the battery, that is number five. So what greater luxury than to have a full tank every single morning you get up. So you plug it in at night, every morning you've got 289 
9 miles of range. And I'm sure many of you will say, but wait a minute, you can't go on a long road trip. And yes, it takes 30 minutes to get 170 miles of range with a Tesla supercharger. So not ideal versus a gasoline car for road trips. But once again, put yourself in the shoes of a luxury SUV buyer. So perhaps it's, you know, some business person taking clients out to lunch. Uh, it's the executive who's driving from their house to work and back. And every single morning, every single morning, they have 289 miles of range that they can drive that day. You know, that's five or six hours of driving. That's far more than most people will ever drive in a day. So it is a luxury uh, to always have a full tank, to never have to visit gas stations. I mean, I think we can all agree that touching uh, gas pumps is gross. Diesel pumps, touching them is gross. So if you can avoid doing something gross, that would be a luxury. So having an electric car and not having to touch gasoline pumps like the rest of us commoners that do that, uh, that is a luxury. So it's a luxury to have a full charge every morning. Quite cool uh, feature to have that you don't have to visit gas stations and you've always got that full charge. So once again, a huge thank you to Omaze for sponsoring this video and allowing me the opportunity to drive this Tesla Model X P100D. It is just crazy fast, something that weighs 5,500 pounds, and the amount of acceleration that it has when you put your foot down is just wild. And you can win a Model X P100D. There's a link in the video description, omaze.com slash win a Tesla. Taxes included, shipping included, $20,000 included, all with a small donation for a great cause. So thank you all so much for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those below.